Just on the coronavirus pandemic, and we're getting new insight into just how much COVID impacted Virginia schools. Casey Baylor joins us live from Princess Anne High School. So Casey, a new report is saying that Virginia's teacher workforce is not only smaller, but also less qualified. And Ashley, some school district leaders say uh, trying to recruit and um, retain teachers while well, the pandemic made it even more difficult to do that. Take a look at this data. In August, the Virginia Department of Education collected information from more than 100 school divisions and found more than 3000 teacher vacancies, which is a 25% increase from their October 2021 reports. Staffers with the Joint Legislative Audit and Review Commission conducted a study on the pandemic's impact on schools, and it shows teachers cited issues including student behavior and mental health, low pay, lack of respect from parents, and a higher workload. School staff also told the commission student anxiety or mental health is a very serious concern. The report analyzed data from the state's Department of Education survey in 2021 and in 2022. It found 3% of middle school students and 4% of high school students attempted to take their own lives. 10% of middle schoolers and 13% of high schoolers contemplated it. And the report also discovered high vacancy rates for school psychologists and it recommended the General Assembly to allow psychologists to be uh, provisionally licensed in order to work inside schools. We're live here in Virginia Beach. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Okay, thank you, Casey. Now, Virginia received a bad report card from the 2022 National Assessment of Education Progress last month. It found a majority of states saw scores decline for fourth and eighth graders between 2019 and 2022. Governor Glenn Youngkin called for a $30 million investment in grants for students and teachers.